Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Saturday, September 14th, 2019. It's 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia vlog entry for today. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was is how does a person with a mental illness, particularly with a psychosis, how do they find purpose and meaning in life? Why do they get up in the morning? Why do they bother to get out of bed at all? Um, I hope I can answer some of that. Um, one of the things about having a psychotic mental disorder or even a severe mental disorder that's not necessarily psychotic is the inability to hold a job and then feel guilty about not being able to hold the job part-time or full-time. Um, so people feel like they're sort of like leeching off society when the schizophrenia or the mental illness is not actually their fault. Um, but I've been through that. I've been through the sense of guilt, the sense of shame, the sense of being a parasite. And I'm sure many people would call me a parasite because I get social security disability payments every month. Um, but first of all, you can't worry about what other people say about you. I mean, the old saying, sticks and stones, actually makes sense. People can say a lot of nasty stuff about you without you necessarily getting upset. But anyways, I work part-time and get paid for it. I can't work full-time. I was never able to work full-time. Um, I even made an attempt to join the Army National Guard, I think when I was 18. That didn't last more than three months, so I wasn't in very long. I never even went to basic training. Um, so if you can't hold the job and you're kind of isolated and you don't have any friends, your religious beliefs or your spiritual beliefs are not particularly comforting, um, how do you find purpose and meaning in life? Um, I'm an atheist and a lot of people would say, how do I find personal purpose in life? If I don't believe in God, then nothing makes any sense, which actually isn't true. Um, one way to make your life feel like it's got a purpose, whether there's God or not, um, is volunteer work. Most volunteer work is not anywhere near full-time hours. Um, and it doesn't have to be real complicated or physically um, strenuous. It depends on what kind of volunteer work you want to do. It doesn't even necessarily matter who you do the volunteer work for. I mean, I could sit here and say, as an atheist, I tend to give money, in, which I'm going to get back to in a minute, or donate things and do volunteer work for organizations that um, revolve around being an atheist and help educate people about atheists, but that's just me. And if I choose a charity to give money to, um, I might choose one that has something to do with helping the mentally ill homeless people, like a church, even though, again, I'm an atheist. Um, I would and do give money to churches that support the mentally ill by feeding them and keeping them sheltered if possible, especially during the winter months. And that's my personal thing that I do. That's the second thing about getting purpose is giving money to something that you care about, whether it's a political organization like the right wing ones or the left wing ones or the political center. Again, I'm not saying which ones you should support. That's up to you. I tend to give money to left-wing organizations, political center organizations, and in some cases, right-wing organizations in politics, depending on what they believe in. I consider myself to be a political moderate. But the point is that I donate money to these causes because they're important to me. It doesn't have to be a lot, especially if you're on a fixed income like me, but I have enough extra income to help others and make donations if I can. I donate blood when I can. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. Donating clothes, food, money. It doesn't have to be money. A lot of churches ask for food that you're not necessarily going to use, like canned goods and dry goods, things that hold up well over time without refrigeration. Um, uh, there's always churches in Rochester, New York, that are doing food drives and welcome clothes and uh food donations that help poor people, in many cases, poor mentally ill people who are homeless, on the verge of homelessness. Um, again, these are churches, and it sounds like I'm being a hypocrite. 
that an atheist would give money to churches. But the truth is, there's not a lot of atheist organizations that do the kind of volunteer work that churches do, especially for the mentally ill. So I go where the money, I send the money where people are actually getting down in the gutter and helping mentally ill, per, mentally ill people. And that's pretty much churches and their volunteers. Um, so I give money to them. I give money to atheist organizations. Um, who you want to give money to is totally up to you. Um, I'm not saying you should go broke doing it. Um, and if you can't give money, like I said, clothes, uh, food, donations, whatever. Um, giving money to charities or political groups that you believe in uh, could give you a sense of purpose, of higher purpose. The experience could even be spiritual in a sense, without being religious. Um, so doing volunteer work. And you may have to go through several volunteer jobs to find one that's right for you. Donating money to causes that you care about within your budget, something that doesn't break you financially. These are two ways of finding purpose and meaning in your life. Um, and those are my main two suggestions. So comment, like, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you later.